Hello everyone, welcome back to Exotic Astrology. Today we will not do any video on planets or their signs. We have completed the series on exaltations. If you have not watched them, then please go and watch them. And if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, then needless to say, please subscribe to it. And if you want notifications, then click in the notifications button. Because otherwise you will miss out on every video that I make. Because I make the videos for you to see and for me to learn. <laughs> and before beginning, the secret topic of today, as I always say, God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and he will be there. So today, what should we discuss? Yes, today is a very important topic. If this topic is there, you have everything. If you don't have this, then... <laughs> you don't have anything if you don't have this and simply if you have this that's it you have won the match <laughs> even if you do not participate you have still won it that's it match is yours you are the gold medalist <laughs> and what is that that is known by the word Gratitude, yes, that is why I would name this as Attitude to Gratitude <laughs> because gratitude is a matter of attitude. Without having that attitude of gratitude, you cannot have gratitude. What is the definition of gratitude as per? Oxford Dictionary. <laughs> My English is not that great that I know all the terms of the Oxford Cambridge Dictionaries. But basically what is gratitude? Gratitude means to have a feeling of gratefulness towards somebody in our heart. Okay. It can be towards a non-living object also. It can be towards a living object, towards a living entity. Okay, It can be anybody. You can have gratitude towards everybody. You don't need a reason to be grateful for. Grateful for means to be thankful and acknowledging that this gift has been bestowed to me by God. Because the more you are grateful, the more the universe gives you opportunity to be grateful. Which means the universe gives you more so that you can be grateful of. Yes. Let me share a personal incident with you. Recently, I had undergone a lot of problems in my teeth. You know? teeth me <laughs> it's shining now but <laughs> I have undergone a lot of treatment there was this treatment of the root canal etc etc I will not go into the details but the doctor who was treating me she was so nice fabulous mind blowing I always fear doctors, not that I don't like them or not that I hate them, but somehow the way they treat sometimes is very horrifying for me, <laughs> especially that injection. <laughs> I hope every one of us have had that horror in the childhood, right? At least I have had, I don't know about others. The doctor was absolutely mind-blowing. I don't mean that she is the best in her profession. Maybe she is. I don't know. I am not saying that she did my treatment perfectly. 
and I am also not saying she did my treatment the worst way possible. No, I am not speaking of the treatment here. Forget about the treatment. Treatment is just a detail. Because if you are not convinced that you are healing or the person is going to heal you is a good person, you will not be healed properly. <laughs> Even if you are healed, you will have a feeling that no, there is something lacking. But this person, her name, she is a German, her name is Johanna or in Germany, in German they produce the J as Ja. Okay, so they call her Johanna. Okay. So Johanna madam treated me, I don't know, she's roughly maybe 28 or 29 of that age or maybe near about 30s about to reach 30. Now you may think why am I saying all this because I want to make her famous. I will tell you the reasons why. Reasons are multifold. Okay. So this doctor, Johanna Madam, I met her on 7th of July this year and then she started talking with me. How are you? What do you do? How are you here? How are you liking the stay? What are the difficulties you are facing? How many friends you have? What do you eat? <laughs> Considering the size of my physique, she understood I am a big foodie. <laughs> so she has definitely caught the neck. Got the bullseye. So she immediately asked, Are you eating proper food? <laughs> and then I am like, My size of my body is the proof that I never compromise on food. If you don't eat, what do you do basically? <laughs> so she behaved beautifully. As good as my mother, she can behave. She was behaving almost, I was feeling as if I am at home. Forget about all this teeth pain, treatment, all these are, all these, these are just insignificant details. Internal healing happens here and here in the heart. If your head and your heart is not convinced, even if God comes to treat you, you will, all, you will still doubt him. But that's not it. She made me feel very comfortable. And the first day I took the treatment and I came back to my home. And she messaged me in the night. That, Are you alright? Is there still pain? I, I, I was shocked to see the message. Because generally people are very professional these days. They don't mix professional life and personal life. But this lady, this divine lady, she messaged me and she said, Are you alright? Is it paining still? Or she might say, Oh, you are just one of my patients. No? She has every reason to not ask me. Do you understand this point? This is very important. Let me repeat. She has, she has every reason to not ask how I am feeling. How does it matter to her? Because it's me ultimately. It's not her body. Yes. But still, she took the liberty. She took the time to ask me. You may say that's only a single message in WhatsApp. But still, that is also needing time. I know so many people who come and tell me, Oh, this person does not reply to me. This person does not. Uh, message me on time this person does not value me and look here I am sitting being asked by a German doctor how you are feeling in the night how does it matter to her how am I feeling either I am feeling good or I am feeling bad how does it matter it doesn't matter 
she is not going to lose or gain anything out of it so it's none it should be none of her concern ideally but still she made that effort to ask me how am i feeling and that is so beautiful you get a message by someone how are you feeling especially from especially if it is from the person who treated you and then i said i am feeling fantastic after all if you treat somebody how can i not feel fantastic <laughs> and then the next day also i met her series of meetings because i had to do lots of treatments in my teeth because i had not visited a dentist in last 18 years <laughs> 1999 was the last time i had visited a dentist okay so there were lots of cavities and lots of problems in my mouth but now this doctor she every night after i come from the treatment she will always ask me how are you feeling is it still paining she will write it in the message if it is paining please come to me tomorrow morning itself do not hesitate do not delay if it is paining more do not think should i go or should i not just run just run to me <laughs> and then what happened finally that day came july the 15th where i was fully cured all the treatments were completed and then it was time to say goodbye <laughs> i'm saying goodbyes are very difficult for me because i am a very emotional person <laughs> seeing of people are all is also very difficult for me so then 15th of july i went to her and she said ready for the final treatment and yeah by the way the only thing i didn't like was they were giving this anesthesia with the needle <laughs> but thank god to anesthesia medical industry has done a great job by inventing anesthesia you, do, you don't feel it. even if they break your tooth you will not feel it so she told to me ready for the treatment i said yes i am ready <laughs> last treatment and it took roughly 4 to 5 hours i think so we started at 10 o'clock roughly and then roughly by 2 o'clock or so it was over and then the most unexpected thing happened she told me that uh, not she actually her senior came and told me that because of your treatments we had to do fillings inside your teeth okay because there were lots of cavities we had to fill them and those cavities the treatments are not covered in your insurance okay so you have to pay money for them and the cost was near about 150 euros which is roughly 12000 rupees in indian currency that's a quite lot of money 150 euros it's not a joke at least for people like us it is not a joke right maybe for some millionaires it's just 150 euros just throw it somewhere but for people like us it it is a big amount and then i told johana <laughs> johana or johana however you want to say it that this amount is bit difficult for me <laughs> i can't pay because i don't have money but then what she said okay i will pay it from my side if you cannot pay i will pay it and when i heard it i was like what you will pay for me <laughs> i am not her son nor am i her brother nor am i her husband or father mother i am nobody of her she just met me 
टेन डेज में भी बिफोर टेन डेज और वन वीक और नियर बाई दो डेज एंड देन टू माई आटर सरप्राइज शी सेट यू डोंट वोरी आई विल टेक केयर ऑफ इट एंड देन नेक्स्ट डे मॉर्निंग शी कॉल्ड मी एंड देन आई वेंट एंड देन शी गेव मी अन वेल ऑफ ओके इन दैट दे वॉज रिटर्न थैंक यू थैंक यू वॉज रिटर्न इन दैन वेल ऑफ आई विश आई कुड शो दैट बट आई हैव डिस्पोज दैट एन वेल ऑफ and inside that there were two currency notes one of 100 euros the other of 50 euros and that's not it that is not it <laughs> there was another paper inside <laughs> do you know what was there in the paper no it was not a long message it was a Amazon coupon, a gift card of ट्वेंटी फाइव यूज ऑफकोर्स यू मे थिंक वाई एम आई टेलिंग ऑल दिस मनी स्टफ यू बट इट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट टू नो बिकॉज दैट इज ऑल्सो अ फॉर्म ऑफ एक्सप्रेशन यस सो हाउ मच डज इट कम टू टोटल वन सेवेंटी फाइव यूज विच इज रफली फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड रुपीज इन इंडियन करेंसी दैट्स अ बिग अमाउंट that's a big amount which somebody does charity for you. i could not believe it <laughs> i have told my friends here but nobody believes it they say you are lying and then they say no you are so lucky you are the luckiest man there's nobody luckier than you in this town of gottingen where i'm staying in germany in that i realized something that sometimes people complain not complain they express themselves basically <laughs> that sometimes we invest so much in a person in anybody but we don't get anything in return so what should we do should we stop investing in people so here is a very big lesson never stop investing in people never because you are not investing in the person remember you are investing in the universe now by saying universe i don't mean to say all those fancy ideas no you are one with the universe i am saying you are saying no that's completely wrong to say that what i am saying is the person on whom you are investing it can be any form of investment it can be monetary or it can be your love your care your affection or any form of investment to anybody that goes to the universe not to the person and it the universe will send it back to you it may not come through the same person but it will come to you definitely there is no doubt without doubt i am saying because the balance has to be maintained if you are giving something it has to come back to you have you gone to a forest sometimes try shouting there <laughs> whatever you shout comes back to you multifold yes millions of times you shout i hate you 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 and you shout i love you 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 the echo is coming you are giving something to the universe the universe is giving it back to you so if you say to the universe i want i want i want the universe also tells you the universe wants from you 
But if you shout, I want to give, I want to give, I want to give, I want to give, then the universe is also telling you, I also want to give you. So if you shout, I want to give, then the universe will give you things to give. Yes. And if you just keep shouting, I want, I want, I want, the universe is telling me, I want, that means give me. <laughs> so the universe will take away everything from you, the more you want. And the more you give, the universe will give you. Yes. So that is a beautiful lesson I have got. And of course, while sitting with her for so many days, I have asked, what is your birth detail? <laughs> so she said to me, 30th September is a birthday. And which is coming very, which is almost around the corner maybe. Two months more. So, as a token of gratitude, because this video is on gratitude, I have decided to give her something. I will show it to you what it is. Please tell me how it is, if you like it or if you don't, okay? There's this divine book known as the Bhagavad Gita, which is the holy book of the Vedic tradition in India. This is a divine book has changed the lives of millions of people worldwide. Of course, I can give her the Bible also, but she might already have it. Why should I give her another Bible? Because she is a Catholic, yes. So I am planning to give her this book. Because this book has changed my life and so many others who I know. And I know this will definitely also change her life, without a doubt. So that's all I can do for her right now. I can't do much. <laughs> but I can definitely do this. And I have definite, I have told her that anytime you need any help, I am always there for you. Just a phone call away or just a message away. Whatever I am doing, I will just throw it off. If you just call me, I'll just come. Wherever, whatever time it is. Even if you call me at night, 2 o'clock, I'll be there. Because you should reciprocate. That's what is the meaning of reciprocation, right? When you get something, you give back. Okay? Otherwise, the universe will see, oh, this person doesn't value things. Why should we give? Will you like to go to a place where you are not valued? No. Suppose there's a group of people, you go and the moment they see you, they're like, oh, who is this person? We don't like him. Or we don't like her. We hate him. We hate her. So will you like to be in that place? No, I don't think so. At least I won't like to be there. And I also know, you will also not like to be there. Yes. So similarly, Everything in this world has energy, okay? Everything is not living, but everything is having a kind of a energy which affects us. So if everything, the substance, if you take anything in this world, people or objects, living, non-living, they don't want to stay in a place where they are not valued. That is why if you purchase a mobile and suppose you don't take care of it, you don't value it, what happens after some time? It wears out and then you have to throw it, you have to use another mobile. Basically the mobile is telling, I will not stay with you, I don't want to stay with you. Only thing is it's non-living, so it can't leave you. So nature takes it away from you. So the more you do not value things, the more you value things less, the more it is taken away from you. Yes. So that is a very big lesson to be learned. Whenever somebody is doing something for you, never forget it. Always reciprocate. Let me go back to the one of my favorite 
instances from the Mahabharata. What is the Mahabharata? Mahabharata is one of the greatest epics in Vedic India, which was written by the great sage, which was dictated by the great sage Vedvyas and written by Lord Ganesh. Okay. So in that there is a instance where there is a divine lady, beautiful lady, very compassionate, unmatched in all areas. Her name is Draupadi. Indians will definitely know about her. And then there is Lord Krishna who is the incarnation of Lord Vishnu. So what happens? One day Krishna is cutting fruits with the knife and suddenly he gets a cut in his finger. His finger is cut and blood is flowing out profusely. And the moment Draupadi sees that my God, there is blood coming out from Lord Krishna's hands. She could not tolerate it. She ran and she tore off her sari <laughs> and she tied it to the tip of Krishna's finger. And then what Lord Krishna said? My dear Draupadi, I promise you, when the right time comes, I will repay back every inch of this sari that you have put over me and everybody knows when was the instance right when Krishna reciprocated when she was insulted in the assembly of the Kurus and the Pandavas they ordered to strip her clothes and make her naked completely and then she prayed to Krishna oh Lord Please save me. There is nobody. <laughs> and then Lord Krishna appeared. Not personally. In the form of a sari. <laughs> and then Lord Krishna gave her unlimited sari. That was the first textile mill that was open. <laughs> Maybe the name of that was Draupadi Textiles. <laughs> And the person who was pulling her sari, Dushasani, fell down. How much can you pull? As they say, you have only two hands. When God decides to take away things from you, how, how much can you hold back? And even when God decides to give you, how much can you take? <laughs> you have only two hands. You can't take or stop much. If God decides to take away something from you, He will do it. You can't stop Him. And if He decides to give you something, then also you can't stop Him. He will definitely give you. So, I am just waiting for September of 30th of 2017 to go to Johanna Madam and give her the Bhagavad Gita. That's all I can do as of now. <laughs> but I have said to her, if you need anything anytime, please contact me. Or if you have any problem sometimes, or if you need astrological help, then please contact me. <laughs> That's it from my side. So, always have the Attitude to be grateful for. Because I have seen this does miracles. You just, just see it. Just see it like this. Just do two things I am telling you. And this I am not suggesting. This is not my personal suggestion. This suggestion is from a very great personality. I will tell his name later. That will become another lecture in itself. <laughs> The moment you get up, keep a pen and a paper beside your hand. 
or beside your bed the moment you get up take the pen and the paper and write five things that you are grateful for because that's when you are programming your subconscious mind because that's the time you are just active like this and you are like so just write it that time and the next time when you are about to sleep again take the pen and paper and write down five things or two things is enough or even one thing is enough just two things you do morning once you write i am grateful for this and in the night you write i am grateful for this that's it this will change your life this is the biggest remedy i am telling you of all planets that's it remedy of sun is there here remedy of jupiter is there here remedy of venus is there rahu's remedy is there here why because rahu represents technology by writing how grateful you are feeling for somebody gratefulness actually comes from jupiter because guru is represented by jupiter and everybody is grateful to the guru to the teacher ideally was supposed to be who is giving you knowledge right so when you write you are converting your rahu which is the technology inside the pen the ink etc of course ink is mars but the whole technology and the writing is mercury rahu also represents technology so the pen is rahu so you are converting the rahu into jupiter which means all your negativity all your tendency to do wrong tendency to cheat everything will be finished because jupiter is the only planet that can control rahu there is no other planet rahu eclipses the sun and the moon also remember it rahu is the most powerful planet in the system if there is no jupiter <laughs> till the time jupiter is there rahu is under control otherwise things will go haywire there is there is going to be complete mayhem all the in all sides we will discuss about jupiter and rahu later but today i just wanted to make this video on gratitude so that by being grateful for you can attract more things to be grateful okay and this is why you can see how astrology is working like for example ju ju just now i said you can convert your rahu into jupiter yes that is something very big otherwise there are people who say oh rahu has finished me rahu has destroyed me just convert it to jupiter then that thing which destroys you will give you unlimited happiness because jupiter expands so the more you write grat about gratitude the more things you will have in life to be grateful for that means you are always having things <laughs> that means you are always getting blessed i don't know tomorrow who comes and blesses me that day was yohana i don't know who is the, who is the next okay so that's it from my side and you might be thinking how astrology is relevant here just take the take away point convert your jupiter into rahu okay or i said the opposite so convert your rahu into jupiter yes and don't convert your jupiter into rahu <laughs> you can do that also how by bringing doubt and skepticism into the world of the scriptures by criticizing spiritual personalities by denigrating them by delineating them from their activities and society by trying to pull them down by insulting them by criticizing them by speaking ill of them that is how you convert your jupiter into rahu see i just made a mistake but there is 
beauty in mistakes also <laughs> so please convert your all rahu tendencies to jupiter and for god's sake please do not convert your jupiter into rahu yes if you did it not a problem now you convert your rahu back to jupiter <laughs> okay that's it from my side if you have still not subscribed to my channel then please subscribe to it and remember always god is there with you all the time just look to him and he will be there okay until next time be grateful and keep writing once every line in the morning and once in the night by that you will see things changing in your life okay this is called the attitude of gratitude until next time bye bye see you